All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone live here with us on Twitch, everyone watching this on YouTube, welcome. Thanks for being here. The Arena is back with your daily dose of MK1 Entertainment. Today on the bug, you... <laughs> Today on the mic, it is Bug. See, I'm, I'm getting too old for this. Bug, what's <laughs> poppin', brother? How we feeling? <laughs> it's all fine now. Today, <sighs> who's on bulk? There we go. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not too bad at all. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting used to having uh, face hair um, again. Bug, you want to bit, know a funny a... story now? I uh, of course actually, I do. Yeah. And you can see it right here. I put my electric shaver on the wrong setting this morning. Do you see that my entire beard is actually gone, chat? Do you see that? What what beard? Yeah, it's exactly. Almost, it's almost baby smooth. Yeah, I look <laughs> now now I look like, you know, 40 years old instead of no, 50. You, know, you look like you're straight out of the 1980s. It looks like some designer stubblage right there. So, like Miami Vice sort of style. But that's what you, luckily, that's what you look at. Those hairs are actually growing back compared to the other ones on my head. You guys know it. But let's make this nice and quick because, Bulk, we are back to five sets in total. Today is going to be a little longer stream than usual. But the thing is, there were so many signups. We made it here into the last week of qualifiers. Week six starting today. And that means we are so close to our season four grand finals. With a lot of phenomenal players competing all across the globe. But of course, only the top 32 seed can make it into our big money finale. 2,000 plus dollars on the line. And today, we're going to find out who is going to secure those 20 league points on this beautiful Monday. We have Hazem versus Raven Lena. Already a banger in match number one, in my opinion. We have Hazem, this unique Scorpion Tremor. Maybe he's bringing that reptile Janet. I have no idea, Bike. But what I know for sure is that both these competitors, they are insane. Reptile Janet sounds like an like a an old flame, like a, a date that you regret. <laughs> <laughs> but that is only the beginning, chat. We have a debut fight, fake here as well versus Ithrix in match number two. Pyrex for all the Tarkatan fans out there today versus Deftet, who is most likely bringing that juicy Kitana gameplay. But then, and this man, I I think he might need a special introduction here. We brought him back, the best Omni Man player in the entire world. Casualty, who surprised so many people during his stream debut when we saw that Omni Man Jax for the first time and the YouTube community, they are literally harassing me, Bulk, saying, Rip, you need to bring him back. And today, we make it happen versus Late Rock here in our PC League, match number four. And yep, there's another one at the very end Ilka Bay versus Bulk. How do you probably pronounce the name? Is it Atzelite? Acolyte? That's that, that, that's acolyte. Acolyte. Wait, you pronounce it with a with a K actually? Acolyte. Yeah, it's it's a, it's the it's we're going straight in with the with the hard C right there. Ugh, Who doesn't love a bit of the C? English is a hard is a hard language, chat. But while I send out these first invites to our competitors, I was busy today. I prepared the updated ranking for our final week of qualifiers, and here it is top 20 of each league kani mani still sitting there at the throne of our playstation leaderboard kitana khan right after alongside takinada and on the pc sides we have two players who are still unbeaten and that is close to unbelievable bulk 15 sets played for val and Uvility, and they haven't lost a single set yet i don't even know how wow. that's possible Wow, that that is that is an insane level of consistency, superbly consistent, just like the the shiny bald cup we have right there, um, the the the, <laughs> the light glinting off that dome resplendently, <laughs> and we have the trophy in the middle. That is right. Our first players are in the lobby. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the support. I see Gujmo, I see Sanchez, Tigris, and of course our boy Kans is here as well with the big boy support. Means a lot, chat. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And now we're diving right into this first match back. I see Kitana, I see Scorpion, and that means Hazem is going back to his OG Scorpion combination. Tremor well, in the go. back. Yeah, um, look, Melina looking um, like she's got, she's straight out of the... Um, oh, wait, it the, is it is Janet, it is not Tremor. Right. No, that's right, yeah, we've got double Janet action here. First game of the evening, let's get it on. Looks like Melina has been uh, going crazy with the credit card and the online shopping store. 
Janet, of course, assisting. Look at this corner carry back. What a punish there. Are we going to get the side switch? Probably doesn't. Yes, we do. Put them in the corner. What's the setup going to be? Janet is coming in, and by now, uh, people are getting their Janet flowcharts down. Now, that's going to be a big punish coming in for Raven Lena. The double MK1 punching. Trying to sweep the man's off his feet. No dice. Playing a little bit of keep away. And yeah, of course, we are not able to take that trade anymore. Raven Lena very well aware of that. Round two. All right. Fight. Right. Oh, tried to dash up for the punish, but the back dash from Hazim. Beautiful spacing. What's the what's the setup going to be? Did miss the ender. Yeah, very unfortunate. That's Big opportunity, but here you're Whoa. not allowed to press, my friend. That was a little setup from Raven Lena. Did I call? Did I say this character was Melina, not Kitana? I mean, but so we're we are two old, ancient people trying to host an MK1 event. I think the the community they have to have mercy with us. I have, I kind of expect this wardrobe choice from Melina, but from Kitana, the 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 picture of sartorial female elegance. It's but a strong again, look. Ravenlina cooking right now. Hazen looking for answers. Got oh, sending it out there. there was Janet a coming in to break up well. the fun. Once again, the spacing is immaculate right now. Ravenlina trying to make this quick chat. Making it quick by doing a, a massive combo into brutality. You love to see it. Get on a win. And that means the there first round already secured here for Raven Lena. We know how strong that Kitana is, one of the best we have in Europe. But there was a high octane start bike, and if the rest of the event is going to be like that, then I'm all in for it. We're all here for it. But, but, but seeing Kitana, um, the true Khan of Outworld, it reminds me that it's actually Robocop's royal birthday today. Do you no, know it that? is not. Score it is royal birthday. Yeah. Wait, what, what the hell is a royal birthday? Yeah. Well, if you're if you're a royalty like Robocop, then you you have your regular birthday, and then you have your incognito birthday about six months later. Guys, so it's his royal it's his royal birthday. Today. Guys, honestly, whenever I'm commentating with Bug, I literally need a dictionary here next to me. <laughs> All right, beautiful pickup right here, and I do appreciate the change of threads because Kitana now looking like royalty, just like Robocop on his second birthday of the year because he's special oh what a what a punish on the on the rando uppercut right there try has even trying to scramble in the scramble but getting all scrambled got a throw can we make anything of it what a what a precise jump in surgical with that foot that lin that uh, oh, that is dirty what hazem is doing right there we are on live support but we of course have that fatal in the back one touch could be enough but and he eats the fan for breakfast, came. and that's <laughs> gonna do it. Olero, thank you so Art. much alongside Captain here for the resubscription spike. Unbelievable. We're on a level four hype train already in match number one. This community is insane. The, the, this, the consistency that we see on screen is only matched by the consistency of our community. The best in Streamland. The best community to ever have community in your community. Right, get off of me. Hands off of the fans. Stealing the turn back is Ravenina. Trying to jump out. Couldn't get a conversion, could Hazim. Try to micro duck. Didn't work out. And now the boy is on the board for the first time here. Final round. All right, is this, this, could this be the start of a change in momentum? What a whiff punish with the back dash there. I was about to mention that. Did you see those little micro back there? The high level movement is the cornerstone of any high level gameplay in a fighting game, and you love to see it. Just couldn't move out of the way of that of those of the fan trap. Ravenina trying to lock Hazim down mid screen. Found his way out. We've grabbed no punish on this. Air to air. Ravenina a little bit quicker. Right, trying to trying to kick her from behind. No dice. Just the walk up looking for the earthworm shim is Ravenlina. 
And of course, Janet here absorbing all potential projectiles in neutral. That was a great jump from Brave Lena. What a read. Yeah, what spacing as well to completely clear Janet. Right, the bomb is out there. What's the setup? Catching you, mashing out. It is and we're so going to be rewarded with the win. Wild to see these little setups from Ravenlina all over again, especially that whiffed grab there. It looked like an error on Ravenlina's end, but it was all intended by. That was a little setup. It was all part of the plan. Ravenlina looking dominant in two, going 2 0 up. And look at the way Ravenlina baited this one. Here it is again in the replay. There's Janet. There's that little vortex on the ground. And then backdash, baiting that poke and going for the whiff punish immediately. Scorpion. That was that was actually beautiful. NGL. FRFR. As the kids would say, that was legit. Not illegit. That was legit. Ravenlina is actually in the chats, throwing emotes out while while cooking up these setups. Jump in, right, jump. another yeah, opener. Jump. Here comes Janet, and once again, look at this corner carry. Right, bombs on the floor again, locking, locking down poor Hazim's Hanzo. Oh, sniped! 360 no scope from full screen, trying to jump out of there, and look what it cost you. All of the setup into the Janet pressure. The nuke, what a brave, brave neutral crouch from Ravenlina. It didn't work out for her in the end. However, it's there. Side switch. Ravenlina can bring this back. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <Round> two. <laughs> Fight. Go teleport on reaction. Yeah, what an answer. What an answer to the Janet, the Janet stoppage. Right, big combo incoming. Or into the setup, excuse me. No, it it just it just keeps on going, the reset. That is 50% off. Corona sale. Patient play from, from Ravenina right now. Setting up shop, but no getting taken off her feet from range. And then just choosing to eat the buttons. Are we going to whiff punish that? Yes, we are. That was a clean one. How much damage can the boy squeeze out here? There's the amplifier. We are still going in. This time gets the ender, and there is the setup with Janet. This might chip out. Yes, that's right. The guaranteed chippage, unless you flawless block all of that at various points. But if it's a true block string, you can get away with flawless blocking the first one, surely. But if there's tiny, tiny gaps in there, then you'll have to flawless block just whatever you see on screen. Hazem slowly waking up, just like our community. A big shout out to every single one out there. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed the show so far. Bug and I, we have a stellar lineup in the backpack for all the MK fans out there. Thank you for the support. And of course, for everything you guys do for us on a daily basis here in the arena. Let's get back into the action bug. I promise. More stellar than cheap lager. You get stellar artois over there. You must do. Wait, what? Stellar Artois, very, very cheap. What, 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 no. what is even that word, Bulk? You, you don't... <laughs> okay, you, you must have cheaper German versions. <laughs> I swear to God, I am. Bulk, I'm struggling here with English regardless, you know? I'm doing my best, and you're always throwing words at me I've never heard in my life. Technically, it's French, though, because it's Stellar Artois. It's a, it's a really cheap French lager. Not super cheap, but really cheap. If you know what I mean. The worst thing oh. is that when Bulk basically throws movie titles at me, which we don't even have in Germany because they're completely different names here in our country. And he's like, wait, you've never seen that before? Now I don't even know what that is. <laughs> we, have, we, have a, we have a great relationship, we do. <laughs> All right, Janet coming in with the cage block. Trying to scope something out from distance is Hazim, but now getting hands on Shirai Ryu. Oh, the Go battle away, of Janet. Janet's here midstream goes for the teleport. Gets the kick, but can't connect. Oh, I love the attempt, but Ravenlina one step ahead with the brave neutral crouch right there. 
Uh, Raven Lina honestly loves to go for these micro ducks over and over again. Yes, it's something that I, I wonder if Hazim's going to pick up before it's too late. She's neutral crouching now. Reacting to the flame floor. Right, boom, boom. Where are we going to go with this? Over to the pages. Can we get a Janet set up? No, just overreaching right there. He already I used Spear in the combo. So fancy from Ravenlina. Another air to air. And Ravenlina is winning all of them right now. So close to match point. Can he squeeze out all this damage needed? Hey, right. Finally getting the side switch. How, how much magic is in this pixel of yours, Hazim? Nope, there's yeah, the up lock. Yeah, and of course, it is always a read when you see those jump ins. Is it a bait on the up lock attempt or is it an actual jump kick? This time, Raven Lina made the right call. And yeah, wins the set because of it. 3 1 over Hazem here in match number one. GG's to both. Yes, GG's both. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, there was some flashes of brilliance on both sides in the end. Raven Lina looked super prepared for that. I still don't know about the skin mode. I mean, that's that's a. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those. It's, it looks like it looks like um, uh, middle-aged mum who's just given up. Um, sort of choices. Turn up to the party with just something, and that that outfit really is something. But of course, that is only the appetizer chat. There is more on our card. And coming up next, it is a debut fight actually. It is Fick, I hope I pronounced that name right, versus Ithrix for the very, very first time in the arena. I have no idea what character we are going to see. What I know for sure is Ithrix, of course, known for that Havoc, but not playing that character exclusively late. He has a few of secondaries, I can understand it. You know, <laughs> Havoc mains are struggling bulk. Yes, Havoc at the moment is uh, in, in, need of, in need of some love. Um, but we, we we have no what we don't have is any data on Fig. Completely complete newcomer. Yep, we can take a look at What's... the rankings though. Maybe he is in there. I see, oh, I'm happy already. I see a general Shao combat card, and this already puts a smile on my face. Here, here's the updated top. 20 for our last week of qualifiers super super stacked i cannot wait to see who is gonna conquer the arena here in season four finals starting next week okay Threek's having a little bit of an a issue getting in martian thank you so much for the raid hope your stream went well And the chat is saying, wait, Hody is top three. I don't know how this happened, chat. Honestly. <laughs> is it late rock or later rock? It's late rock. Late rock. Okay. And speaking of late rock set here, even though I know we have a lot of casual taste, uh, casual taste fans here in the chat, the boy hasn't answered my message yet, so I'm not sure if he is really going to show up. Let's light up a candle for him. Let's hope for the best, <laughs> because I want to see that Omni-Man in action. But of course, we can only offer the platform the players. They have to show up, actually. Bug and I, we cannot play for them. That's such a diplomatic and nice way of putting your thoughts across the mic there, uh, young Ripper. Um... <laughs> What he really wants to say is, if you sign up for a, a slot, you better just turn up, kiddos. Anyway, having turned up is Threeks, and we've got Fig with the Shao. Melina in, excuse me, Chameleon in the back. And Bug, even after those first five seconds, I can already tell you, this is not a newcomer. Like, this is not a new player at all. This dude knows what he's doing. This, this, this is some kind of spy. <laughs> Who sent you? Right, awkward conversion there from Freaks, catching the mid-air Cyrax net. Right, the Krull is going to beat the balls, however, Freaks on the tear. I like that going with the main squeeze straight away. Trying it out with your main, see how it goes, if you really need to switch things up. Yeah, the, the, I, was gonna, I was just going to say about the breaker, came into play for Freaks. Doesn't want to give the round away. And if we're going to get an anti-air, 
No! Are we gonna get a punish? Even more no! Oh, that's that's harsh there for Threeks. Tried to get the, the early anti-air, however, it wasn't to be. Eating the neutral jump axe. That show is looking gorgeous. I like what I see here. All right, axe away. And now it's going to be weaponless pressure. Oh, could not get the whiff punish. Right, Melini oh, on Oh, punish all day long. That standing T, uh, standing two coming in clutch. One of the best buttons in Shao's arsenal. The standing T pose. We call it a, the two pose. The standing two. Yeah, guys, I know the prediction is not updated. The problem is, you guys honestly don't understand how complex my overlay is. I cannot do the predictions on my own. I'm doing all the stuff here in the back. If there is no mod around, I'm sorry, I cannot do the predictions on top of that. I'm already reaching my limit here. Not, not, not the, uh, not the, um, the useful chat being incredibly impatient and not understanding. <laughs> I, oh, I might have to buy a, a second camera soon, and then you guys can see what I'm actually pressing all the time here during the event. So Please. the overlay looks how it looks, and the Discord audio is fine, and the players know that they have to play and stuff like that. Are you sure? You, we don't want to get banned again. Do we really want them to see everything that you're doing? <laughs> Oh, what a conversion! Did you see that? It was the double ground pound conversion because of the ch chameleon air side. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> we're punishing by stamping him, in, stamping him in the toes. Fig, a, a clearly, clearly a master with this character knows exactly the ranges he wants to play at. Honestly, a very, very solid performance, especially considering how good i 3 is. I mean, we have seen that havoc so many times here in our events. That's right, but right now, Shao can't move. Wait. Is this going to be a punish? No. Good block on the law. Oh, that was oh, interesting here. Both of them barely <laughs> missing each other. Try to backdash, and there is the i 3 copter, and that is the first round secured for the boy. Okay. All right, well, main squeeze working out incredibly. Is there going to be an adaptation from Fig? Man, but this is some high octane MK1 we are witnessing so far. It is indeed. And of course, for all the Kitana fans out there, coming General up next, Pyrrhus versus Death Tat. Did, did, you, did you see that? What you did there? The Katana fans? I knew set that up, bug right? is going to be proud. Yeah, yes, uh, oh yes, absolutely. Round one. Anyway, to the mansion. Flamingo, yes. looking pink. Tried to get the jump in, but landed straight on the balls. The, tr the, the comical trade. Right, we're gonna spend the bars. No, no, we haven't. We're gonna use Cyrax to extend. Right, he's out, his people need it. Catching the toes, catching the walk back. Again, another Cyrax extension, and we have the tongue action, and we've broken the neck. And Threeks cleaning it up right there. Round two, fight. Right, using, and using, using that chameleon lift back to back. I like that. Get that offense started. Yeah, shout. You even lift, bro. <laughs> you even lift. Overhead. Oh, yep. You're not blocking that on reaction. It is a, it is a straight up 50-50. Axler Shao is the character that all Shao players really wanted to play with. Right, doink, send them into the corner, and then the raw dog Malini on from range two. That's something that we're not seeing with Yes, as we hit the spin cycle, 
something we're not seeing Fig do as much as perhaps you would expect is playing at Shao's optimal ranges more against Haven, who needs to be in your grill. Like, get off of it, spending the cash, not worried about taking it into a next round. There's the armor, and even able to get the punish here. Still, those recovery frames on Fig's end. Right, the pickup again off the double, the double crullage right now. Oh, look at this damage. We're still going. I threes in trouble in the blender over there in the corner. Good grab. I like that. Yeah, but it's the, re it's the Melina grab, so it's only 9%. You'll need a little bit more than that to kill this guy. The patient play, stare down, and what's it going to be? The Katani on coming in to seal the deal for Fig. I say it every single time when we have these debut fights on stream. I am so impressed how good this community is actually. Like, there are so many players, we see them for the first time, we always expect them to be, like, newcomers to the game, but they're always so sweaty, Bike. I, I don't understand. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of sweats out there, aren't there? There's a lot of sweaty tryhards. They, they sweat <laughs> a lot and they try very hard. Beautiful stuff. Citric, thank you so much for the Prime subscription as well, General saying halfway to a year supporting the best MK content in the world. Silence. Keep it up, Ribs, and everyone else on the Arena team. Thank you so much, guys, for the generosity, the support, for keeping this thing going, not only for us, but for the entire competitive scene at this point. You guys are the best community ever. Fact. You, you, you lay down more facts than A to Z mail there, Rip. Havoc looking like he's gone to the same online shopping store as Katana. Up oh, there's the lollipop swing. Right, we're leaving the axe on the ground. Oh, that was a great oh. way of punish. I like that with Chameleon. Yeah, it's a ma it's completely matchup dependent. Able to just be at a range where uh, Havoc becomes <laughs> completely impotent. Well, this dude is cooking. I didn't expect that at all. And managing to break the armor because he was axeless, had the access to faster punch strings, was able to break the armor there. Keep your hands to yourself. We're gonna get into the setup. Gone low, going uh, high. This, just, this time, uh, block that overhead. What was that read from my three chat? And it is a complete read. So yes, you you, you get either massively punished or. You get your you get your combo game on. It all depends on how risky you want to play as the shadow player, surely, because the if you eat the low, you just eat the low. But if you eat the overhead, you get combo. If you want to be completely nutty about it, then you'll go low into launcher. But that is in itself massively risky. But what isn't risky is just winning the set. Fig going up. Two, one. Yes, Bike, and that means we are officially on match point. Debut fight. Let me say it once again for everyone who may be just tuned in. This show is looking more than dangerous. What could be more than dangerous? Like lethal? General show. <laughs> Rip out here asking the big questions. He's he's turned into the German thesaurus right now. Robocop is saying he, he has to run. Robocop, thank you so much for tuning in, brother. Yeah, have a, enjoy your enjoy your enjoy your royal birthday, Robocop. And I see P Rex on the card right after this. We already know what's gonna happen. Right, coming in to try and play a little bit of footsies, meeting a face full of cameo armor as Chameleon tanks the hit, allowing Fig to get the punish and get the first interaction. Trying to fight back now is Threeks. And just again, getting hit caught by the spacing and the Molina ball roll. Well, there is just, there is some spicy gameplay. I see Sikandra coming in with the raid. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sick, for the raid. That was a sick raid. 
But now i 3 trying to tie this up. We want that game five, and I personally want to set the arena on fire back. I have the finger on the button, you know? <laughs> what are you he always wants problems, is this man. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want peace. He wants game fives. Oh, and right, i 3 has all the... the time in the world for this. Does he cash out? No, I'm pretty... Wait. But he doesn't spend it. That is bold. He believes in this. There it is. Oh, got away. Right decision here in the end. There we go. I like it. Spending the cash to secure that win condition. Right. Finally getting hands on, on General right there. Like this is literally turning into Call of Duty Warzone right now here in front of our eyes. So much zoning, but Figgy doesn't want to deal with it. Just jumping in, and this is going to be a lot of damage. Look at it. Still go and drop the Ender, and still 36%. Oh, jailing the, jailing the poke, but couldn't get anything of it. Oh, Brad. Oh, boy. He just oh. caught him clean counter, and that is a meterless launcher every time that back two connects. Final round. Fight. A block. Good read. Yeah, beautiful answer for the counter play. That's a clean jump in for Fig. But didn't commit to a to a launcher. Freaks. Really true. <laughs> Make, trying to make the most of his extended pokes there. And poke special kept safe by Cyrax, but no, we weren't ready to punish the, the wake up. The spacing is honestly so good from Big throughout the entire set. Right, leaving the axe on the floor. No up block this time. <laughs> oh! Forward two into down one is a different kind of demonery. J Dem <laughs> demonery? Isn't that an English word, bug? <laughs> it is now. Wait, did did he do just tea back here in his debut fight? <laughs> oh, just taking my man's for a spin. Boom! Come check out my new axe. Take you for a spin. I I don't even know what to say anymore. This was an outstanding performance. That show is <laughs> oh, that is crisp. Yes, indeed. Well, welcome to the arena. Treeks, sorry you had to be on the receiving end. <laughs> and Fig in the chat is saying, I only teabagged because of that zoning. Fig, that was that was a great set. Big, big shout outs to the boy i Threeks as well. Super entertaining, but Bug, you know it. There is more. And for all the Baraka fans out there on YouTube, coming up next, Pyrrhix is back. Bug, do you know who Pyrrhix is? Who? Well, uh, what do you mean? Who they play or who they are? What Pyrrhix does? Are you, you going to blow my mind and say Pyrrhix is actually Rishi Sunak? Like, have you seen my uh, Twitter clips about Pyrrhix, the player who always enables his microphone during the set and then shouts oh, into the Oh, that guy! Mic? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, of course I know who Pyrrhix is. Yes, how, could, how could I possibly? You, you mean? How, do I know my replacement? Yes, I do. Yes, of course I do. <laughs> Bug is going to be good. Whenever Pyrrhix is on stream, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people out there are going to have a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the matchup. Thank you guys so much for being here. Close to 400 people in the building. And another great message. I see Casual Tay in the chat. That means he is here. The best Omni-Man in the world, question mark. Coming right after this on the PC side versus Late Rock. What an absolute banger set of sets we have here. It's a whole evening of hot sets. That's true, Mike. Hot, yes. sweaty sets here in the arena. And both invites are flying out to the players. This is going to be the last PlayStation set of the night. Then we switch right into the PC League, where, of course, more phenomenal players are waiting for us. While these two are joining, once again, since the YouTube side complained, actually, Bike, they said, Rip, you have to show the rankings more often, please. We only see them, like, once a week. That's what they said. So we're going to try to make it a little bit better. Here it is, and it's looking more than stacked. That's right. And, you know, what the other thing as well is that um, I suppose if you are watching this on YouTube, then uh, tr maybe consider joining the Discord and you can just look up the stats wherever you want to.
or you can just keep track so you can you can watch all the vods on youtube and t have a piece of paper and a pen and actually keep track of all the scores manually <laughs> i mean but we have more than 100 sets every single day this is gonna be they rough. don't know that they, the youtube guys don't know that and then when it comes to the final they'll be like really surprised like how did you qualify <laughs> <laughs> Players are in the lobby. I see Kitana. I see Baraka. Let's dive right in, chat. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Game on in the tea house. Another appearance of Kitana. This time looking very well. She's she's absolutely got got the riz right there. Right. I'm surprised the upblog didn't do anything there for Pyrrhix. Speaking of our blocks, Death Tat in there with the side switch combo into the setup, into the bomb setup. OM Ganesh, 37.041% of swaggy fanny combos. Right, Pyrrhix had enough. Getting his fireworks on. Get off me! Just had the, I've just had this jacket back for the dry cleaners, says Katana. <laughs> Defted another very, very strong Katana. I mean, we most likely see that here already. All right, again, sexy with the fireworks. Pyrrhix trying to make anything stick. Wait, is that going to be a punish? It yes, is a it punish. is on yes. the bomb. For whatever reason, Baraka has access to a full screen fatal blow. I mean, close to full screen. I mean, it's not like he 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 has, you know, he he, he does have some issues with range. That is a, uh, of course, covered by the sector missile, finding the way in there. Decided the always thing. tells me he needs it, bro. Well, he doesn't have it. What an anti air! Let's go, anti air shanking. No, Pyrrhics are saying this is a no fly zone, Death Tad. Right, and then just not wanting to go quietly into that night is Pyrrhix, as we are waking up with violence at every opportunity. Had enough of being kept full screen as this guy. Oh, Pyrrhix tried to whiff punish. I saw that little backdash attempt. That is a punish all day long, though. And Death Tat doesn't break. It chooses to hold on to the cash. And the around 18% of health they have, it's not... Oh, it's Pyrrhus. not going to work out I'll do it, Pyrrhus. Pyrrhus. Pyrrhus, what did I tell you? Pyrrhus. I think we need to... We need Pyrrhus to win the event so that he can afford a better mic. That's what we need. Mike, what are we doing here? <laughs> The chat is saying, what did I just tune into? Um, yeah, that is the arena chat. We are also known as the most professional Mortal Kombat event out there on the internet, but you know it. Back to the match, Pyrrhus up one. You're right to be concerned. That's right. swear to God, these, these players, they are killing me, bug, literally. So-called so -called professional media organizations take notes from the arena's production. <laughs> That's what that's what they do. They look at us and go, "That is Wait, professional." But Bug, we have a big surprise here. What is that prediction? Not a lot of Phoenix believers in the chat. Only nineteen percent. While we have eighty-one on Death Hat. Or like Dang. Tigris likes to say, Death Hat. Death Hat. Death Hat. All right. Okay. There's the trade. No advantage gained. We're looking for the over the overhead crawl. Oh, what a snipe. And able to block the Sector Rocket in time. So much zoning. Both of them looking for that opening, and here Pyrrhus gets it. Deftat still has the life lead, though. I like the change of play from Deftat. Sitting on the health lead, doesn't need to engage, doesn't need to go in, and... Not going in is what they're absolutely doing. I mean, I can understand it. You honestly don't want Baraka that close to your face. Super, super big damage. Strong buttons as well. Kitana definitely has the upper end in neutral as long as it's full screen, in my opinion. We've got 15 seconds on the clock. 
And here it is. That is you. There is the robbery. But it can't get the punish in time. I think a jump kick would have worked, especially the way Baraka has a super solid jump kick. Okay, health bars basically even. It's going to be the poke. Round two. Death Pat Fight. almost survived. Right, back to back to the back to the time crisis. Reload, reload. What was your favourite arcade shooter? Mine was Time Crisis. Time Crisis Two. I would go with Turok. Turok. Oh, oh, that's, that's cool. I, I love that cool. one. On uh, Nintendo 64 back then was a banger. My uncle uh, bought it for me back then, but because my parents didn't allow me to play that game. Ooh. Oh dear. It's okay. You you made amends. Again, we're gonna get the punish. Uh -huh. Yes, we are. You just know you can't use that move at that range when when that resource is available for Baraka. Oh, Pyrrhix right. copped our bulk. Get ready. We already know what's happening, chat. Pyrrhix. Pyrrhix, chill. Pyrrhix, it's okay. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you, you love to see it, really. I mean, it, it, again, it was the exact same sequence. Following facial blow straight into the um, the 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 baraka the baraka copter covered by sector, and uh, Death Tat just didn't didn't see it coming. I honestly think I might replace Fabs on one of the grand final days with Pyrex, and I'm just gonna slap it on the mic by for for like the top eight finale. <laughs> I think maybe we need what we what we might need is a Pyrrhic sound tour. <laughs> Imagine like those yes. little Pyrrhic buttons whenever something it's happens. The future. Got, it's, it's, it's the future. The future is AI, apparently. So, you know, we're all going to be replaced by AI, and that's what we might need. We might need an AI soundboard of Pyrrhic. But just imagine what's going to happen. For like 100 channel points, if we add a Pyrrhic sound effect as a channel reward here on this, we could literally not host an entire event anymore. Bro, like, it this community would break the stream with that. Yes, yeah, I think that would be the, the strat. You could make it 10,000 and it would still do, that would still work. Elson is saying, Rips, you're so handsome, bro. Thank you so much for the compliment. I appreciate you. Damn, you're paying people in the chat as well? Of course, uh, I mean... <laughs> Alright, finally getting hands there. But no, fact, whenever I'm hosting with Bulk, I think that actually makes me look better, you know, Chad? Pure Higgs Bulk, let's get back to the match here. <laughs> Fight. All right, we've got the glow on, so the, the fireworks are not going to work. And that's a beautiful pickup there from Death Tat. But by the last the thing, throne. the last thing you want in MK1 is getting three out by Pyrrhix. Because we all know, if Pyrrhix gets another round here, this is going to be the ultimate pop-up. Yeah, but right now, looking at a perfect. But no, it's not going to be a perfect at least. Right, that was very kind of Baraka to Sliding push under the Katana fan. out of the way of the missile. Okay, surviving is Death Tat. Fight. Can they avoid the 3 0? Can they avoid the, the Pyrrhic soundboard? <laughs> Silver is coming in with the first time message saying, Rips Arena, I'd smash. Wait, what would you smash? Baraka? <laughs> the like, obviously, as the kids would say nowadays, Rip. Smash Upload. the like and hit the notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they would do. That is what they mean, right? 100%, yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, this time shoving it into the missile. Baraka not, uh, not giving the help in hands right there. Here is. Very close last round here. Is it going to be the 2-1? Is it going to be the 3-0? Right now, Death Tat looking clean. Well, so far, Pyrrhix is the one that's closer to having having Breaker. 
Hyrix one touch away. That Fatal is on deck. And now Death Ted has to be super careful whenever he wants to throw out a projectile. Yeah, and he do, he's, probably, he's not going to be making the mistake of putting a bomb on the floor, surely. Wait, Buck. Oh! Good trade. I like that thought. Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Oh! oh. <laughs> it was you didn't so have close. the health to tank it. That was so close. I thought I thought Deftat wasn't pressing a button and it was going to be a block punish, but no, it was. It just turned out that that didn't have the health to take it. Pyrrhix silenced in that moment. That is true. So, is it going to be the first game five of the night? And once again, Balk and I, we want to say thank you to every single one out there spending time with us. It's unbelievable, Balk, when we look back three and a half years ago, how this all started and now where we are right now. And that is only yeah, because of this. It was, a, it was a lost bet. That's how it all started. It was, yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Chad, believe it or not, the first streams back then, um, they were German only because, <laughs> you know, my English was so bad back then that I didn't want to speak English on stream. So there were only German. German until some people said, you know what, Rip, just try it. And look what it cost us. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> no, but what a what a journey. What an absolute journey. And back then it was it wasn't this uh, huge amounts of high octane action thrown at you in, in incredibly tiny bursts. It was it was first to tens. Like all all the all the way through. Oh wait, Bug, let, let me let me search a picture real quick. Bug, take over the commentary. I, I might have something cool to show here. Oh you and chat, you have to be scared when Rip says, let me just dig out one of those old pictures. Right, we have switched over to Kano. Got the BBC, the big bald commando, helping us in the rear. Right, Death Attack, can't get anything to stick. Stealing the turn with the down one swipe. Looking for something. Oh, and just armoring through. Pyrrhic spending the cash and then getting the chip out with the Baraka Copter. That was another lifetime. Round two. Fight. However, has ended up switching sides because of it. What a counter poke from Death Tat. Getting the significant touch, getting the corner position. We're going to get a setup as well. No, just going straight for neutral jump with pressure. Melini, a uh, <laughs> comedian coming in to break it all up. Did you find it? Yes, I just found it. Are you clothed in that photo or? <laughs> We're going to show it after this round. Beautiful okay. stuff. But now let's see if Pyrrhix can get this set. All right, we're blocking the overhead on reaction. Pyrrhix has got a bit of work to do, and no meter. Uh, Death Pet playing it smart, but you got oh, caught. Wait, no. Baraka does a lot of damage. Yes, is, yes, and it was, is this going to close it out? Or I don't think so. Like, I think the sailing is going to be too rough in the end. Let's see if both of them are mashing buttons. I don't know. I don't know, man. 45%. I yeah, think still he's breathing. Doable. Still breathing. No. And Pyrrhix. again. Pyrrhix, you have to relax. No, he's teabagging, Bike. Bike, he's teabagging. Teabagging verbally. Catch, ladies and gentlemen. You, 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 for, for those, uh, for those um, who are looking for for love, um, Pyrrhix is available. I honestly don't even know what to I say. Pyrrhix, Pyrrhix has broken Rip. I could, I could. I've seen that look on look before. I've seen See, Rip look at a look at. Uh, it's like looking at a, a, an ape uh, at a typewriter. He's, he's got that look. Do you guys actually realize what these players do to me every single day? Like every single day? <laughs> but I have something uh, something cool to show. I think we, we spoke about the early events, Bulk. And look what I just found. When we just started, I have one of our first lineups 
here in the arena. And look how they looked. We didn't have these fancy motion graphics. <laughs> Avil and I here with the best Photoshop skills on planet Earth. Oh, that takes me back all the way back. <laughs> and so that's that's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. I'd, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, it was super basic back then, uh, but it was a lot of fun. So a big, big shout out to every single one out there who's here with us for many, many years, allowing us yeah, to do this the, year. Look, chat, look at the names there. Look at look at who's look at these names and how long they've been around to uh, with the arena. People like Famous, Sunda, Gamebug, Macaron, all these all these names who've who've not only stayed loyal but just gone on to become such incredibly powerful threats, and in some cases, threatening the pro scene. That's right. But, of course, we have to keep this going. Coming up next, the match a lot of people on YouTube are waiting for. He is back. We brought him back, chat. The best Omni-Man player in MK1. Casualty here in the arena today for the second time versus late rock and bulk now better put your seatbelts on because i'm pretty sure you've never seen an omni-man player like that this dude is gonna blow your mind i promise it doesn't take a lot to blow my mind but i'm <laughs> <laughs> and Silver is saying that's actually the reason I tuned in today. I see a lot of Casualty fans in the chat. Let's take a look at the prediction versus Late Rock. That means Liu Kang main is going to face one of the most dangerous Omni-Man players on this Ooh. planet. Get your channel points in. Prediction is live. Well, remember, this is this is all Liu Kang's vision. This is all Liu Kang's timeline. How is he going to do against the DLC the DLC privilege from a completely different universe. And what can I say? The match is starting. Good luck to both of them. Here we go. And this is an NA to NA set. That means super low ping for both of them. Casual tape. Give it to us. And there it is. The Omni piece. Omni Jax versus Liu Kang and Chameleon. By the Elder Gods. What are you? I'm something of a guy. But you're myself. assuring me it's low ping for them, right? It is low ping for them, yes. Okay. Casual okay. table, <laughs> you're gonna realize that very, very quick. You've never seen an Omni Man player like that because he uses Jax as a cameo and he is one of the filthiest setups I've ever seen, and that was a lightning quick out of here. Alright. Well what, yeah, I know one of the one of the team wow, what a push. Get off of me. Um one of the TC guys uh, runs Omni Jax and says it's just the it's the best the best thing since um uh sliced um falafel there's Jax. good interrupt from blade rock i like that doesn't want to deal with the mind game all right just dodging that as you do <laughs> i like that oh <laughs> yep no late rock not falling for it <laughs> yeah, didn't, didn't activate the trap card that time Some phenomenal right. MK1 gameplay today. A big shout out to this right. community for being here with us, for watching these events live, and look at Omni Man just dodging all of them. Forward for City, the Liu Kang BNB bug. This is how Liu Kang players in real life walk down the street doing forward four. <laughs> <laughs> But I have to say, Late Rock looks comfortable in this matchup, so he's very, very well aware of these setups and knows how to deal with them. That's right, and not afraid to wake up with the Peloton is is Late Rock. Oh, poke special? Yeah, just giving them the clap right there, slapping them away. Wait, Casualty, feeling the pressure. Late Rock is a sweat. And that's it, but Ooh. first round secured. That Liu Kang is going in. All right. Liu Kang. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Late Rock able to withstand the the superhero um, pressure right there. Let's see if Casual Take can find the right adjustments. Omni-Man, Liu Kang 
Jacks right, sticking with the combination, sticking with the Omni Jacks is the is a um what are you? Casualty. I'm something of a god myself. No character ex uh, a switch as expected. Casualty, a true loyalist. And they're saying, oh, that was juicy. I love that little bait here. Yeah, put Jax on unblockable on the screen and make your opponent twitch. Yeah, we saw that later. He tried to get rid of that Jax cameo, but that was all a bait from casual. Again, just give him the clap right there. What Useful a, proximity what a space as a neutral as well. Casualty looking like a complete different beast here in this round. That's right. right the dash up throw is going to seal it. Think, think. Round two. Think, think, Kang, Five. think. Actual footsies in 2024? Unbelievable scene here. Like. Yes, unbelievable stuff. All right, this time we get an interaction. There's clearly no breaker available or anywhere near. Oh, just keep your balls to yourself, Liu Kang, as we fly straight under the radar. Clutch jump in from Latrock. Beautiful backdash right out of the poke range. Wait, how much damage is that? We're extending, we keep it on going. What's the setup going to be? Oh, it's going to be the unblockable. And the down one just to steal it right there. Bringing it all the way, bringing it into a, a game now. It's one apiece, casual tape. <laughs> and I can completely understand why so many people on YouTube enjoy that gameplay. It is just a complete unique approach to the character, very similar to Rotha and his Quan Chi. And people, they just love the diversity, right? I think that is what MK1 is all about. Bringing a character, bringing your own approach to it with a unique cameo. So many options in the game. But of course, we see those meta combinations most of the time, especially since there's money on the line, back. Blue it, it, here's the thing: Jacks is that what will, what becomes meta is um, you know you can see you can see uh, in in inverted commas um, in air quotes uh, off meta uh, picks like uh, Quan Chi in the hands of Rotha with Jax or um, uh, Janet just doing absolute work, looking completely unstoppable. And do we have another one of those situations here with Omni Jax? Looking completely unstoppable, bug until they meet a Raiden Kano. <laughs> 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 but now, casualty, there is the neck breaker. <laughs> yeah, no magic will save you there, but can your... Can your Elder Godly powers protect you from superheroism. And again, all these setups they cancel as well, but forward for opener. Sponsored by Latrock. There we go, hitting them with the Shaolin size fives. 34.655% into the Oh, I wonder why that throw didn't pick up. Normally when you see a Liu Kang do a back throw into cameo and you get a combo from it. And all that happened was um, Chameleon came in to make sure that Liu Kang did less damage. I'd have to see that interaction again. I'm not quite sure what happened there. And again, great spacing casualty, but can't really get anything out of it since Latrock is in the driver's seat. Yeah, able to just calling out the cancel and getting the punish for it. Speaking of punishes, grabbing him by the, the hipster headband is Omni Man. Not impressed by this uh, plant-based warrior with their man bun. Shaolin Hipster is not doing what the, faring well. What is even happening? There's so much going on once again. That's always the case when we have casualty on stream. But here comes Late Rock. We go for the big boy combo. 38% and it's already above 40 now. Numbers going up without mercy. That is 50 plus. And the, yes, and finishing with the power of branding. You love to see it. Set up. Goes for the grab, perfectly timed. Is it enough? Finish him. What the? The Jax was on the floor. <laughs> the realms are Whoa, mine. no one saw that. <laughs> 
Every Omni-Man player on YouTube right now, you better take that notepad out. Casual Tay is showing you how to play that character. That was dirty. That was having the yeah. Jax unblockable ready for for either OTG or for um, Oki. I can't. I, I couldn't see which one it was, but that was that was dirty. Dirtier than Stevie Wonder's bar. And that is exactly what he needed for the win. He needed that little bit of extra damage. And Jax, Evil Carnage is saying, I would guns. win in an Omni-Man mirror versus Casual Tay. Maybe we have to make it happen, Bob. Mm, yeah, big I'm words right there. Myself. Sure, you got your big boy pants on and gonna swim into the deep end with those, with those words. Round one. Maybe we have to run the Omni-Man beef set mirror. <laughs> Omni-beef. There's beef all around. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We have Motaro on stream now. Later on, going for a different camera. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Clearly, clearly, Late Rock is not a fan of having the extra health, choosing to take the Motaro debuff. Our casual taste is getting more and more comfortable. We can really see that compared to the first round that he's slowly adapting. That's right. And for those who didn't catch that, I believe we saw an unblockable combo launcher right then. That's true, back, yes. Great hit confirm one more time, casual taste. That's going to be enough to take the first round well, here in the garden. Out, aren't you? Round two. Fight. Ooh, the, the, I think delayed wake up, but just avoiding the unblockable and therefore the setup and getting the punish for it. Shimit. More forward four stairs. I see the little attempt here on the whiff punish from late rock. I kind, of, I kind of agree with, um, I do agree with Late Rock's uh, deliberately eating the Jax unblockable, where, where just in case it's part of the dirty, dirty setup and doesn't want to eat more damage, like masses of damage from a full combo. Wait, oh, wait that oh. is a lot, buddy. That is a lot. We have Fatal on deck here for casual yeah, attack. No breaker. Oh, yeah. that looked like an input error. There. Yep, that definitely was a combo, combo drop. That was yeah, not Yeah, I meant, I meant, I meant input error. Clearly, it was a combo drop. I meant input. <laughs> the chat is saying, who I was the latest undercover arena boss? It was me. Yes, that's right. For those, for those who don't know, the, the undercover arena boss uh, was ripped this week. As it is every week, he just he's just so humble about it. He doesn't he, he gives the credit to other players who need to shine. And I see my boy Averk in the chat saying go to stream right here. Aver, you you have to join one of our events again because the YouTube community they're harassing me when you come back, okay? <laughs> I have two Speaking dollars in my PayPal account for you. Speaking of harassment, late rock <laughs> looking like they here. are being cops! Casual Tay Buck, and he did it again. The, the craziest Omni Man in MK1. He is back, Omni baby. Wins. Right. Taking it completely. Taking it 3 3 1. Or three is one. it down? Yes. It is 3 one. Wow. And for everyone watching this stream on YouTube right now, Averg is saying after his exams are finished, he is going to join us again after April 18th. Averg. You're a mad lad for that. Appreciate it. And of course, best of luck for the final exams. Mike, do you remember yours back then? I'm happy that mine are over. What, my exams? Yes. Um, I've got. I've still got the stone tablets hanging on the wall. <laughs> uh, as it goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chet. What are we doing here? That was a beautiful they're written, match. They're written, they're written in hieroglyphs. No one will understand them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at our lineup card. There is one more set. And Mello, thank you so much for hitting that resub button here in the arena. There's one more bike. Ilka Bay versus Acolyte. Ooh. Now, these are two players I know nothing about. I'm not afraid to say it. And Bulk, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this one. I'm sending out these invites to both of them. Good luck. And this is, in my opinion, the battle of Turkey versus Russia. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Casual Tay is saying to Averg, we need that Scorb in the lineup. That is true. Wait, Averg, you're playing on PC as well, right? 
I mean, for, for us, it doesn't matter. We basically cover everything, so you can play on PC, PS5, whatever you want. A Burke in the chat saying she def is viable. That is the worst way to describe a date in my entire that I've heard in my entire life. <laughs> She's not a piece of meat, okay? She's a human being. Maybe we say, hold on, I got it. Maybe someone in the chat can can hook the boy up here with a little gifted sub to one of the best Scorpion players in the world. Last match coming up right now, a C Sub Zero entering the stage park. Sub Zero. Oh, indeed. Johnny we got Sub Zero, Cage. Johnny Cage. Chameleon. Hey, Johnny and Johnny Serena. That Liu Kang picked me but the, the Sub Zero resurgence that's happened of late. Decision. You do love. Oh, we got the extended stare down. Round one, fight. <laughs> this man is starting with some high octane pressure. Holly, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Wait, did we just lose Bulk here on the mic? More swinging from Ilkabe. This man wants the W here. Last hit connects expected to stagger, but wait a minute. Acolyte can bring this back. We know how much damage Johnny can do with a regular BNB combo into Fatal, and this might be the start. Acolyte, wait a minute. Jump in. Goes for the grab. What? No. <laughs> I'm losing my shit here. Mello, thank you so much for another gifted. And Bug just sent me a message saying his laptop crashed. So I, I'm, I'm, I, I am back now. I am, I am totally back. I'm going to in the background while I'm watching Johnny Cage smash Sub Zero here in the corner. I'm going to be busy sending you a new video link as well because that is the kind of multitasking professional I think I might eventually become all right all the slides been scoped out but able to get around completely the katana get me out of get me out of here card final round fight this is another close match bike it is indeed. It is indeed. Boom, ba -da boom. There First we go. break. Wants to save that damage. Jumping good. Pick up from Echolite. Right, and now I'm entirely, completely back with you. Yes. Oh, he's out of there with the dive kick. You'd love to see it. Stagger City, that's what Johnny's known for. Oh, but just staggering his bottom straight into the clone for extra comedic value. Having to block the double crawl. And then sliding straight out of there. Elusive, elusive ninja. Right, finishing the full string out here. No way. No. Wow, the Shit. late katana. What? The late katana call. You could you could see there was a bit of hesitation on Acolyte as they wanted to see if Katana um the the, the chameleon cameo was coming in to save them. And then went for his punish, but then Katana came in late. There's the down one by Ekali takes the first round. But that little combo in the end, that was so cheeky from Ilkabe. That was, it was it was an incredibly cheeky way to end up losing and dying. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it looked fancy, okay? Yeah, like... yeah it looked incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Ambitious, but ultimately rubbish. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you for supporting us and for having our back. Hope you enjoyed the show so far. In my opinion, a lot of great sets on today's card. I managed to I managed to tune into the wrong stream Johnny on Twitch. <laughs> Serena, OG Academy.
chameleon. Why would I do well in your business? With your big ass ego, you'd fit right in. All right. Round one. Fight. Okay, here we are. Just men just start the round with a sled. Is that how you feel? Is that how you feel? <laughs> Reminds me of the good old MK11 day, Spike. Where we had Sub Zero in our grand finals 26 times in a row. Round one fight slide. And now with the, well, the jump back dive kick, that was that was inspired. Rip trying to trying to get me to remember the um, the, the, the bad old days of the, the MK11 27 sub zeros in an evening. I'm trying to forget them. The therapy is not helping. <laughs> Everybody's. <laughs> and Tucky not oh. the to say go to times. That's a that's a really strange way, Takinada, of spelling completely busted, broken beyond belief. But okay. All right, Jade uh, Chameleon coming in to just uh, work work some magic for her boss. Oh, special. Ilkabe has the lively to play with, doesn't really have to overcommit, but now has to be careful. Trapped there in the corner, and that's where Johnny wants to have you back. Exactly. He wants to work his magic with 17 seconds on the clock. Wait. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna say can Ikabe um actually ride out the storm and then he ends up getting clipped and dying. Right, the double double crawl there. Back to back Serena action. It's, it was Johnny's turn until it wasn't, and finding the right hole to escape through. Ready is that, will is... punish from Ilkabe, and now that Sub Zero is swinging. You can say about Sub Zero whatever you want, but, but these combos in MK, uh, MK1 they look so fancy. Then, yes, I mean, he, he's, he's such. He's such a more visually appealing character than he used to be. Like taking him, taking a few notes out of the MKX playbook right there. Oh, and just <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, I love that it, that the cloak does a little bit of damage and then you end up dying. A very in close set prediction as well. Basically, a 50-50 here on the menu. All right. Speaking of 50-50s, Johnny Cage doesn't need the 50-50s. He just wants the oppressive pressure. Doesn't want to land on a clone and get froze, though. Doesn't want to go Elsa mode right now. He's going to send you across to the opposite corner. We're going to wake up with it. And we're going to get froze. <laughs> right into the clone bag. <laughs> that is an interaction that Ilka Bay has seen before. As he cleans it right up. No. This is a this is a game one fatal here from Ilka. He is saying, "Get that top tier out of my face." Wait, all of that was game one. It is the, the I mean the first game here for Ilka. Okay. Ilka. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Sub zero. I'm not, I'm not going completely crazy. All right, GGS. Stream debut. So, everyone out there, welcome to Toxic Arena. We are back, Mike. So, wait, is, isn't this... Aren't we going into game three now? Yes. Or am I completely, completely confused? The score is 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Okay, got it. Got it. I'm with you now. I'm with you. Tiger is saying, only news we... Uh, someone just asked, Rips, do you have any information about the servers? Yes, I have, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. And in desperate Ooh, need of in, it, that's because he's in he's in the inner sanctum is the, is is our rip. Round one fight. Alright, it's gonna be poke into slide, Ilka Bay showing they are not gonna slow down on the trademark sub zero gameplay. But the main like question is, who is gonna teabag next? Again, just jumping straight into the clone. 
Acolyte getting really pinched for uh, the trying to come forward without thinking it through. And Ilkabe, this man is firing on all cylinders. Indeed. I love how Serena's troll doesn't get eaten up by clone. It just goes straight through it and continues to carry on. Oh no! Oh, and then, no. A little bit of overcommitment here on Ilkabe's end, and he has to pay the price for it. Yeah, Sub Zero, looking at Jade, looking at a chameleon right now, it's asking the questions. What do I pay you for? This man tried to sneak in the poke special into. That is actually crazy that this works in MK1, but poke special into cameo. But I got the jump over, and now we got the touch, and now we're going for another jump over. Ilkabe looking like he's in an anime game right here. Spending all his time in the in the sky. Not worried about the about being on the floor. So much for your grounded neutral footsies. Again, another tr a jump over attempt. And right now the boy is mixing. I, I love I love players going for crossover jump uh, jump jump ins uh, with their characters in a block to uh, uh, hold a button to block the game. Is, is Sub-Zero's jump punch particularly advantageous on block? I don't think so. Oh, oh, this time it works. Chameleon earning her paycheck right there, getting her boss out of trouble. Oh, just for the dive kick, pushed Johnny Cage too far away. He couldn't continue the combo, but again, we're Acolyte using that clone on it. as an anti-air, and here comes that over at Mix City all day long. All right, and this wait, is Acolyte, he, he gave wait, up an ilk. <laughs> Bay. No chance. Come on. Ilka Bay. He gave up, Bug. Can we get some wow. ales in the chat? Wow, that is that's a statement. Eesh. And Ilka Bay with the torpedo T-backs taking the lead here. The Savagery rip. The Savagery. We're gonna, we're gonna Gotta get a call a flag on the play right there. Unnecessary roughness. As we get, we get. Um, uh, it, it's gonna be Kenny Cage. I thought I had daddy issues, but you, my family is none of your business. All right, is. I'm oh, sorry, I have to love, I have to love the interaction here in my chat. <laughs> Lord, that's an absolute mad lad. <laughs> Back to the match, Mike. All right, well. Can the Ken cosplay provide any protection to this rampant frozen offense from Ilkabe? Again with the jumps. So far, no answer from Acolyte. But like, get off of me. Had to do something. And that was a meterless sh uh, shadow kick. That was the answer that, Ilka that Acolyte came up with. And Ecolite, this boy is feeling the pressure. Ilkabe running away with the match, but wait a minute. Corner position secured. Now he has to yeah, come. Had, had to blow the cash there, there. Looking for another overhead. Right, he's in. Ken trying to get the gong where they lost out at, at the Oscars. And, and Ekelai got be, it. Is, it's is this the first game five? Could it be? Could it be? Acolyte, you've got to do it. My man's rips here has been he's been hovering over that button. But don't do what a pick up from Acolyte. What our players don't realize is that Rip actually gets uh, he, he gets very stressed if he doesn't get a game five. He he loves seeing that graphic. That is true. 
paid a lot of money for that graphic, right? He wants to get he, he wants to see it in action. And it's frankly the best graphic to ever have graphics. And but and you know it, what? We're, we're gonna see it. We see more teabags first though. This match is going the full distance, and for one last time tonight. We need the entire audience to go crazy. Spam your favorite emotes. Spam some AOs in the chat. Ilka Bay and Acolyte, they are taking us for a ride today. And they can only be one back. That's right. So for everyone who's here with us live on Twitch for the very first time, better lower that volume a little bit. Because whenever there's a Game 5 on our menu, it's gonna get loud. And it's gonna get hot because we set the arena on fire for every so, single one out there. Johnny get ready, chat. Chameleon. Put your seatbelts on. It's time to sweat. Here we go. Why would I do well in your big ass? You fit right in. Opening words are said. And now the best graphic to ever have graphics. But at, at this point, there is honor on the line. It's not even about money. It's not about the channel points. It's not about the league points. It's straight up honor. Did you do the final uh, match? Um, yes. Do you want me to oh, do it again, Bug? Sure, course, please. I got you. Just didn't pile up on my stream at all. It was really bizarre. Okay, Bug, this one is for you. Oh, there we go. Now I see it. Oh, I, I, feel, I feel better now. I feel much, much better. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you what, I don't agree with this Acolyte strategy of he, he got the dub with the Ken costume, but now he's switched back to the original gold, the gold shirt. I'm, I'm, if you've had success with one, I don't know why you'd want to change it. All these staggers, Ilkabe, pace, but gotta open up your by that chameleon. Yeah, that's right, the, the staggers into, into the commitment. And there, the low poke, making me eat my words right there, is Acolyte, making the gold shirt work. Oh, the low into the, into the Melina sigh. Okay, throw into, um, for some reason, using Kitana to get you in. And I can see, I can smell those tea bags already after the set. <laughs> Input error, no punish. Uh, yeah, looking for the up block, but there was no interaction. Oh no, just walking straight into it with his bottom again. Combo Here's drop, Johnny I'll Cage. be nervous. By right, anti-air, backward elbow. There's so much pressure. It is never ending. That's Johnny in a nutshell. And here comes the strike throw. And that's it, Mike. I think this match is over. That's it. It is. And the answer to the tea bags <laughs> is more tea for you into the fatality. Right into the fatal. GG's and... And... And the boy. just frame plug pull right there. Looking like he's playing some Tekken 8 ranked. I have to say, this was a wild, wild ride tonight. But unfortunately, this is going to be the end of today's stream. And Bug and I, we want to say thank you for every single one out there. Thank you for the generosity, for the support. And of course, just for spending some time with us, supporting the competitive MK1 scene. Bug, did you enjoy it? I, I loved hanging out with you and Les Beard. <laughs> yes. Yeah, maybe it's going to grow back, you know, for the next stream. We're going to be back tomorrow. Until then... Hopefully, all of you guys are going to stay he's safe ordered, out there. He's ordered a new one from eBay. It should be here in time. That's right. It should be here tomorrow. <laughs> ordered it via Amazon Prime. But we're going to send you over to the boy Ketchup. He is streaming right now. Be nice in the chat. And of course, I cannot wait to see all your beautiful faces again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Bulk and I, we're out.